Hi, question number eight taken from June 2014, Advanced Level Maths, uh, HSC Advanced Level Maths P3. By sketching each of the graphs, y is equal to cosec x and y is equal to x times pi minus x in brackets for zero to pi, show that the equation cosec x is equal to x times pi minus x uh, has exactly two roots, two real roots in the interval is zero to pi. And for the second part, we need to show that the equation can be written as x is equal to 1 plus x squared sine x over x sine x. And then for the third part, uh, there's there's two real roots of the equation, cos of the equation cos x is equal to x times pi minus x in the interval 0 to pi. And they are denoted by alpha and beta, where alpha is greater than beta. Use this iterative formula and... Uh, which is x is equal to 1 plus x squared sine x over pi sine x to find two decimal places, the uh, correct two decimal places, uh, the root of alpha. And give the result of each iteration to four decimal places. Now we need to deduce the value of beta correct to two decimal places. Okay, let's do it. Now, what is the graph of y is equal to cos like x? Okay, this is quite easy. And... Uh, y is equal to cos x is equal to 1 over sin x. So if this is a graph of y is equal to sin x, cos x will be there. So therefore we're looking at something like this. Now, and for the second part, this one, it is y is equal to x times x is minus x squared. x times pi is uh, plus pi x. Put that in the uh, correct uh, completing the square form we have minus 1 times x square minus pi x and then y is equal to minus 1 into um, x minus pi upon 2 to the square minus this pi upon 2 to the square which is pi square upon 4 therefore we have y is equal to um, minus x minus pi upon 2 square plus pi upon 4. So, right, uh, from here we have uh, x is equal to pi upon 2 and then the y value is pi, pi square upon 4. Okay, so pi square upon 4 is basically 2.47 something. So when x, that's the, that's the maximum point. We have to realize this is negative, therefore the graphs can look like this. So this is uh, pi upon 2. And where do we have pi upon 2? Now, over here, this is pi. This would be pi upon 2. Right, so here we have pi upon 2, and the graph will have a maximum point somewhere like this. Maybe this is uh, pi squared upon 4. So your graph is going to look something like this. One solution, two solutions, so on. There we go. Second part, we need to um, write the formula in the form of x is equal to 1 plus x square sine x over pi sine x. Now basically it's, a bit, it's about rearranging the formula. What do we have? Cos x is equal to x times pi minus x. So this is 1 upon sine x is equal to x pi minus x. So that's 1 is equal to sine x times x times pi minus x. So 1 is equal to then sine x times this is x Yes, we have um, sine x times sine x, so x sine x times pi, that's going to be times pi, okay, minus x times x is x square sine x. Alright, so we have 1 is equal to pi x sine x minus x square sine x. In other words, we have, this can come on this side, 1 plus 
x square sine x is equal to x can remain on one side sine and pi can go on the other side can get divided okay so that's the second part now for the third part we need to use the iterative formula um, to determine the root so the iterative formula is x is equal to 1 plus x square sine x divided by pi sine x and what value can we take now this is pi and this is 0 we can take this value the initial value of x can be pi upon 2 <coughs> so what is pi upon 2 anyway use your calculator pi divided by 2 it's going to give you 1.57 okay so we're going to say x is equal to 1 plus 1.57 to the square sine of 1.57 divided by pi times sine of 1.57 so let's do it on a calculator sine 1.57 times 1.57 to the square plus 1 divided by pi times sine of 1.57 it's going to give us 1.1 <coughs>0.29 then you have x is equal to 1 plus okay, 1.1029 to the square sine of 1.1029 divided by pi by, by sine of 1.1029 okay sine 1.1029 times 1.1029 in a square plus 1 divided by pi times sine of 1.1029 close bracket 0.7438 so 0.7438 now therefore the other value of x is going to, going to carry on like this 1 plus 0 0.7438 to the square times the sine of 1 point uh, sorry 0 0.7438 divided by by multiply by the sine of 0 0.7438 so how much is this one then? Well, it's a sine of 2.7438 times 2.7438 to the square plus 1 divided by pi times sine of 0 0.7438 so maybe 0 0.6462 ok so the next one Six one five. <coughs> okay, so next. Okay. Five seven five, <clears throat> and again, so 
times 0 0.6575 times 0 0.6575 per square plus 1 divided by 5 times sine of 0 0.6575 and here we are 0 0.6585 now all of that is converging to one value and uh, therefore, our first number is 0 0.66 to two decimal places. Here we are for the third part. Okay, now we move on to part B of uh, the third part. Okay, we need to find beta. And we are told that alpha is less than beta. Now somewhere in the process, we had y is equal to x into pi minus x. This pi minus x here is telling me something. Now this value of x is 0 0.66, therefore beta is going to be pi minus x. So beta can be pi minus 0 0.66 and beta is going to give us 2.48. Here we are. 